Syrian troops are claiming to have uncovered a mass grave in the recaptured city of Palmyra. The discovery follows the ousting of forces from the so-called Islamic State. A military spokesman said the grave contained the bodies of men, women and children. Our international editor, Lindsay Hilson, was the first British TV reporter to have filmed inside the ancient ruins of Palmyra. Parts of the historic site were blown up by Islamic State and it also suffered from bombardment by President Assad's forces and his Russian allies. She's now in the city of Homs, from where she sent this report. When the Islamic State seized Palmyra last May, many people fled here to Homs, even though you can see that this place really bears the scars of war. People are living in terrible conditions. And they have been hearing some news of families left behind. And what they heard about that year is terrible. Appalling punishments were visited on people. Today, the Syrian army say that they found a mass grave with 42 people in it. They say 24 of them were civilians, the rest were soldiers. Some of them appear to have been, according to the Syrian authorities, members of popular committees. That means people who were very loyal to President Bashar al-Assad. But it seems that civilians, people who were not particularly loyal to the government, also suffered. And I think it's important to remember terrible things. We will find them out about what really happened in Palmyra. But this was a place that has seen a lot of violence. There was a prison there called Tadmor Prison where President Bashar al-Assad put many of his enemies. It was notorious. Maybe the only popular thing that the Islamic State did was blow that prison up after freeing the prisoners. So you think back to the history of Palmyra, 2,000 years. At one point, Queen Zenobia rebelled against the Holy Roman Empire. The city was sacked. But it makes you think that the blood that those stones have seen, this kind of violence, it's not exclusive to ancient times. We're seeing it in the modern age too.